How we feeling? Good? Yeah, Everything's smooth so far, huh? Another day in the office. That's it. <laughs> After 14 weeks of grueling work, sweat, and countless welds, we've reached the moment we've all been waiting for. The flip. Flipping a hole of this size is no small feat. She's 53 feet long and over 25 feet wide and should weigh somewhere in the neighborhood of about five tons. Exciting. <laughs> it's a massive undertaking with cranes, a crowd of onlookers, and absolutely zero room for error. And now, as we prepare to flip her, we're quite literally suspending our dreams and savings with rigging and cranes and hoping everything holds steady. Absolute last resort. If, if, the, wind, if the wind gust picks up and she grabs it, the only thing we can do is touch down. the wildest thing I've ever seen. Pretty close. It appears so, huh? Pretty close. This is absolutely insane. Look at them legs. Those things haven't seen the light of day in a while, huh? Not, not for the last three months. It's been too busy building a boat, Brian. Kurt wasn't wrong. It had been a busy three months indeed, with the majority of our time spent building the boat upside down. We did this to let gravity help us fit the plates and to give us a much better angle for welding. And speaking of welding, we've used 204 kilograms, about 450 pounds, of aluminum welding wire so far. If you stretch it all out, it would total over 24,000 feet, over seven kilometers of welding wire used. This converts to about three kilometers of actual welding. Imagine lining up 27 football fields end to end and welding that entire length. It's a staggering amount. But eventually, we had to flip her the right way up, and that day is today. So before we flip the boat, I want to talk about something that I think fits pretty good here, work-life balance. So the last few weeks have been an absolute whirlwind, and we've been putting in some really long days. And to be honest, balancing work and personal life is something that Brian and I have struggled with really ever since we started the YouTube videos, which is quite a few years ago now. And becoming a family, things have definitely gotten even more challenging. So I have mentioned this before, but I've been to therapy for my own mental health, which has really helped me. But there's definitely been times when it's been really important for Brian and I to kind of talk and work together, especially when it comes to like how we organize our days. So balancing everything from uh, work, house chores, time for ourselves, and also time together as a family. And honestly, getting help to organize all of these different aspects of life with a licensed therapist, someone who's like trained to listen and give unbiased advice have been really amazing for both of us and also prevented a lot of arguments. So that's why I'm happy to say that BetterHelp is the sponsor of this week's video. They're on a mission to make starting therapy easier. All you need to do is fill out a questionnaire and you will be matched with a therapist in as little as a couple of days. And finding that right person to talk to is absolute key. That's why I think one of the best features of BetterHelp is that if your first therapist doesn't feel like the right fit, you can easily switch to another one until you find someone you really connect with. So if you're struggling with something and think that you can benefit from therapy too, click the link in the description below or just head to betterhelp.com forward slash Delos to get 10% off your first month. Okay, now back to the flip. This is very exciting, Dan. Nervous or excited? Nervously um, excited. I woke up at three this morning. Did ya? 3.15, I could not get back to sleep. I was like, bing. You ready to go? Let's go. Well, let's have a flipping good day, eh? Yeah. There's only one thing flipping today, Dan. Yes. And it's a boat. Uh-oh, what do we got here? 
big crane. Is this your buddy? Yeah. Wolfie? This is what do you crane. call him, Wolfie? You work with him before? Yeah. His last name's uh, Wolf, so Wolf uh, Crane's pretty self explanatory. Um, he's even brought the extra piano weights for the crane just in case. Just so. in case. So tell us about this crane. What's. Uh, it's what? a lever. Yeah. A lever 60 ton. So, and yeah. how, how far does the boom extend out? Uh, it's got 42 meters of boom. Wow, okay. Yeah, 12 tons. But not away. 60 tons at 42 meters, right? No, no, no. no, no. I think about one ton at 42 meters. Okay. That's We'd be using two cranes for the flip. A smaller 20-ton wheeled crane known as a frana and a 60-ton boom crane with hydraulic arms. As for how all this would work, well, that's something I was waiting in anticipation to find out. So 10 meters radius on him, 8 meters on him, that's our capacities. Yep. Just the capacities, 13.9 overall, and we got a lifting thing of 6 tons, so the sweet. So we have a lifting capacity of 13.9 tons at that reach. We estimated Dallas 2.0 to be around 5 tons, so if our calculations are correct, we should be well within the limits. Any bets on how long it'll take? I reckon hopefully all going well if we finish by 10. Wow, I hope people get here soon. Yeah, I'll get here. As strange as it sounds, I was actually hoping the flip would take a little bit longer, but these guys were super efficient. They could have finished it in about 30 minutes, but we told everyone the festivities would begin at 9 a.m., and people were just starting to show up. So I did my best to stall and managed to buy us a few extra minutes with a well-timed coffee break, hoping more people would arrive just before the flip. Luckily, one very special guest made it just in time. What do you think, David? Yeah. You approved so far? Uh, yeah, it's good. To see your plans come to life is pretty cool, right? It's, it, it doesn't get old, you know, it's always um, brilliant. Yeah, we're really happy. We then huddled around for the briefing to go over exactly how the flip would go down. Uh, so the process is going to bring the boat out with the franer. Yeah. Um, sit it back down again, put the 60 tonner on it, um, and the franer will go to the lugs on the back, and they'll lift, dual lift together, and the franer will tail it down so it'll be hanging from the crossbeam. Yeah. And we'll have to rotate it 180 degrees. We'll have a tag line each side yep. so that I can have one of you to help me as a spinner and then I'll disconnect if I want to use each on a tag line. Then we spin and then the frontal will hook back on yep. and then back to horizontal. Absolute last resort. If, if the wind if the wind gust picks up and <coughs> grabs it, the only thing we can do is touch down. Drop touch the tail. Touch down or, or go down. So yeah. we'd rather touch down if it does a little bit of damage and work that out later. It's just metal, we can, we can fix it. We can fix Scary it. loves welding, we can fix it. <laughs> <laughs> no. That's not gonna happen. No, it's nah, we're happen. sweet. But at the end of the day, if, if we've got it up vertical and, we, and the wind gusts pick up, we'll just leave the crane connected. Yep. I'd rather not, not disconnect the crane and go back to flat yeah. and wait. Yeah. Rather than disconnect and then, whoa. Yeah, yeah. so we'll, we'll make sure before we disconnect, we're happy. The spin will be pretty quick, yep. and then straight back on. Yeah, yeah good. Probably. With the legal and liability acknowledgements out of the way, it was time to actually do this. Yeah. <laughs> the heat's on today. <laughs> she taking weight yet, Dan? It's going to start taking some weight now just to see how the center of gravity is. So we've kind of measured it. That was our 7.6 and we went 1.25 meters to either side of that. So yep. we'll see how close we were. We measured it to the millimeter. I know that. Yeah. We'll see if the calculations are close. <laughs> Support it. Yeah, just sort of walk forward so, as he goes out. And one of us will have to grab that trestle. Grab, like. grab the trestle as we go past, yep. but ready to pop him under as soon as we land. Yep.
morning you guys morning. good thing i got here early yeah. all this started happening at like seven this morning early. yeah the cranes yeah. came in it was barely light now, so like now down. they're they've got it out of the shed yeah. with the frana yeah and uh now they're gonna set it down and then the big crane has to pick it up from the front they just ran through everything but i was so excited i don't really get all the steps in my head but we just they got it under control cool. got a team of pros here and the weather is good so far huh? so far so good yeah it's blowing a little bit up there okay. but not too much okay. so far so good so far so good mate we're out just gonna hook up 60 tonner now and have another chat make sure we're all on the same page and send her over How we feeling? Good? Yeah. Everything's smooth so far, huh? Another day in the office. That's it. <laughs> Just another day in the office. I love it. So now we're switching up to lifting mode. Nothing to see here, eh, Kurt? Just Nothing another day at the office? Just flipping a tinny, Brian. It's not even welding and grinding today. Oh, flipping a tinny. Flipping a tinny. Well, it's two tinnies, really. Two tinnies. Two tinnies and a bit of shit in the middle. Yep. yep. Pretty much it. So, we're actually a bit early. Um, Everything is ready to go, but it's not really nine yet. And we've told everybody that it's gonna happen between nine and two. So uh, we're kind of waiting around a little bit for 10 more minutes until nine, and then it's gonna happen. It doesn't take a really long time and they don't really wanna keep it up in the air for too long either, so. Eventually, we had to get moving. We'd stalled as long as we could, but it was time. Everything was in place, the weather was good, and luckily, a decent sized crowd had gathered just in time to watch the flip. And so we proceeded with the final inspections. Exciting! <laughs> This is a beer cell, huh? There she was, five plus tons of aluminum, hanging from just two lines of rigging attached to the crossbeam. I was both in awe and a little uneasy watching her just dangle in midair, knowing all the pieces we'd fabricated were now holding her entire weight in the air. the wildest thing I've ever seen. So weird. But now that she was in position, it was time to move to the next phase of the operation, the rotation. This is absolutely insane. So we disconnected the smaller Frana crane 
and connected some leads, which we would grab onto and rotate her 180 degrees by hand. It's a lot faster than I thought too, like they're just moving it around, like it's incredible. How cool does it look like from the air, right? Like the craziest thing you've ever seen. <laughs> it's insane. What? We now geared up for the final phase of the flip, setting her back down the right way up. The frenic crane was reattached to start pulling her back while the 60 tonner, which she was still suspended from, would simultaneously lower her down. Coordinating these movements was crucial. Each crane operator had to be perfectly in sync, especially Wolfie controlling the big crane, who had the delicate job of lowering her at just the right speed to avoid a rough landing. It's coming down, right side up! And just like that, ah, it's all right, it's all the eagle had landed. And she wasn't looking too shabby either. Five point two tons. Cool, oh, good to know. That's pretty much what we thought, right? That's about right. Yep. He said plus or minus 150 kilos. That's pretty accurate. How'd we do? We did good, yeah, smooth. Yeah. Nice work, man. Nope. Oh. She's down. But she's down and safe. Thank you, my friend. Appreciate it. Did it, Dad? You did it. You did it. Boom. <laughs> So the flip has gone really, really good and we're chatting to a lot of people that has um, just kind of wanting to see the boat and stuff. So it's really nice. There's actually been a lot of people come and see the flip. A lot of people actually missed it though because it happened so fast so early. But uh, yeah, it's been great. And the boat is flipped. And yeah, now we just relax and hang out. With Delos finally right side up and clear of any hazards, we gathered with the tribe, friends and new faces who had come to witness and share this amazingly huge milestone with us.
trains got got the weight down. Wow, Dan, that's amazing. What your hat say? Blind as a welder's dog. You want to say you weld? I shouldn't be one to talk. <laughs> nice shirt there, Dad. I like that. My son brought this back from Australia 12 years ago. Look at you. You're definitely not a tourist. I love it.